struggling with the issue of undertones and overtones. Um, do you have a sing single color comparison charts with warm and cool versions at opposite ends of the spectrum or a side by side comparison of a color where the intensity is the same, but one is cool and the other is warm. I don't think my eyes are seeing differences very well. If I don't wear makeup, people have commented that they see pink and red when I flush or have a sunburn, but foundations recommended for warm skin colors tend to blend better with my, my skin, even when they look too yellow at first. It's so confusing. So, I want to explain the difference between overtone and undertone. So when we think about warm overtone colors and cool overtone colors, we're just talking about warm is to the colors we describe as hot things, such as the sun, fire. So reds, oranges, pinks, yellows. They are our hot, warm overtone colors. Then we have our cool overtone colors, blues, greens, violets. Um, you know, think about blue, water, cold forests, you know, cooler environments have more blue and green potentially in them. So that is why we describe those as cool overtone colors. Now with any palette, you will get a range of both warm and cool colors. So here is a cool palette. It has some warm overtone colors and it has cool overtone colors. Here in this spicy palette, we also have warm overtone colors and cool overtone colors. But this is a cool, a warm undertone, and this one is a cool undertone, and they are different from each other. So this is the how the color is made. So if we are looking, say, for a blue as an example, so these both have the same intensity, um, just different undertones. If we look at a warm blue, it has more yellow in it versus a cool blue that has more purple in it. If we look at a green, for an example, um, we have a warm green, you see more yellow, a cool green has more blue. Even if we look at the browns, a warm brown has more yellow in it, a cool brown actually is a bit more pinky purple. Uh, so that is what we are looking at when we are looking at the undertone of colors. Now, I do have a bunch of blog posts, which you can go and read about, where we have warm and cool versions of all the different colors. Just look up undertone of color, you know, undertone of red, undertone of blue, undertone of green, undertone of purple, whatever it might be, and you will see that difference. So, for example, if we just looked at undertone of purple, uh, a warm purple is a red violet. A cool purple is a blue violet. So this is our cool one. That one actually looks even less purple. It's too pink. Um, you know, you can see the pink and red in this one. This one, you can see the blue in. And that's really what we are looking at when we're talking about the undertone of a color. Now, let's talk about foundation. Yes, our foundations should match our undertone. And the way you've described yourself to me um, you know, you, you said you had some green eyes and warm auburn hair, which means you have a warm undertone. So even though you may see some pink and red, when you flush, some pink and red may come out because that is the hemoglobin in the skin. That is the blood under the skin. But your skin has a yellow overtone. So when you put that foundation on, what you want is actually to blend with your skin, not to do something different. So whatever your skin is, so even though I have a cool undertone, I have a slightly, very slightly yellow overtone. So when I put on a foundation, if I put on a pinky looking uh, foundation, if it, like a cool foundation, which is pinkish looking, I look strangely pink. I look like I'm flushed all the time. Versus I put on a marginally yellow one, it's, it's kind of in the neutral to just yellow, I look bright. But even though my undertone is cool. So you might find even though, though you have a pinkish flush when you flush, maybe your overall overtone is still actually more yellow. It's slightly more peachy. It's just people aren't really noticing. And there are warm pinks and cool pinks as well. So when you put on that slightly yellowish foundation, it works better for you. Really, the whole point of foundation is it just blends with your skin and makes it look more even. It's not to change your skin color, whatever is the overtone of your skin. And I do have a blog post about this too, which you can go and just check up on, um, you know, just look up finding foundations. Um, I have a blog post about this. But this is where understanding the difference between overtones and undertones and also the differences between cool and warm undertone colors can help you really put colors together. And this is why any palette that you get um, with my absolute color system, you'll find that the colors work together. Um, I would not want to put these, you know, warm neutrals with my cool based colors they don't go together but these cool neutrals do work with my cool based colors and that just makes 
choosing your colors so much easier because you know the colors in our color palette have actually got the same properties and so you're not struggling out there blind uh, when you're out in the stores. So thank you again for your questions and for watching. I really appreciate you coming by and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye for now.